Père David is French, his father David. Father Armand David was a French missionary in China in the late 1800s. And he was the first European to notice these very unusual deer in the Imperial Hunting Park. As the Emperor of China was trying to open up relationships with Europe and the West, deer go from China to collections in Europe. About the time of the Boxer Rebellion, with the peasant uprising and the flood, various different things, the last of these deer in China are wiped out. It's the breeding season for the Pear David deer, so they will decorate their antlers with whatever weeds, whether it's aquatic weeds or stuff, they, they dig the ground, they roll in the mud, they urinate on themselves, all of these things that apparently female Pear David deer find very attractive. He's there with all the females. He's obviously just spending a nice quiet afternoon, but he is calling every once in a while to uh, literally announce that he's there with the females, and hopefully that's gonna keep some of the younger males away from him. <laughs> These animals have a chance to experience all these different range of their natural behavior out here because we've got these big wide open spaces. We're involved in a number of different breeding programs of endangered species, trying to make sure that we have these populations here that for the future. Right now, there are three species here at the wilds, the, the Pear David's deer from China, the Chevalsky's horse from China and Mongolia, and the scimitar horned oryx from Africa. All these three species went extinct in the wild and exist only because they've been kept in breeding programs like this. And the great thing for all three of those species is because the animals were available from programs managed in human care, they were able to be taken back to the wild to be to reestablished in the wild again. And so at hopefully at some point these animals, we can actually quit saying they're extinct and, and say they're established in the wild again. It's exciting to know that we've had a part in making sure these animals are still around.